Hey there, everybody. Do you love to travel and learn about new places? Great, then you are in the right place. Join Jasmine the cat and Gracie the tortoise as they have fun traveling the beautiful United States and learning lots of cool new facts. Hello, friends. It's Jasmine the jazzy gray cat here with my BFF Gracie, the super smart tortoise. Say hi, Gracie. Greetings, my good friends. Gracie here. Are you ready to go with us as we explore more exciting places in Canada? You betcha! I just loved exploring Ontario. Where are we going next? Well, Jasmine, we're headed for British Columbia, but to get there we must go through Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta provinces. These provinces are also called the Three Prairie Provinces. We will be traveling 1,443 miles in order to get to British Columbia. Wow! I hope our cute blue camper is ready. I think I'm going to need a lot of snacks and naps in my princess bed. Good idea, but we're not going to drive straight through. We'll stop and visit Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta as we go. Great idea! I can probably get more snacks when we stop. If you must, you must. Now our first stop will be in Manitoba. Manitoba is known as the Keystone Province because it's right in the middle of Canada. A keystone is a stone right in the middle of an arch. A keystone is very important because it holds the rest of the stones together. So that means that Manitoba is very important. Over to the map to find it. I see it. So do I. Right here in the middle of Canada. Ontario is on the east, Saskatchewan is on the west, the province of Nunavut is to the north, and the chilly waters of the Hudson Bay are to the northeast. To the south are the states of Minnesota and North Dakota. I hope it doesn't feel squished in the middle. The capital is Winnipeg, where most of the people in Manitoba like to live. I would love to see the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. Maybe the dancers are performing the Nutcracker. I'm sure the ballet would be wonderful, but it probably wouldn't be the Nutcracker, since that is usually performed at Christmas. I would be happy to explore the Winnipeg Art Gallery, which is an art museum with art from Canadian, Indigenous, and international artists. Both of those activities will have to wait, since we're not going to Winnipeg this time. We're not, but we're already here. What are we going to do? We're going to park our camper and take a small plane up to the Hudson Bay and the town of Churchill. What's up there that could be better than a ballet? How about polar bears, beluga whales, northern lights, and tundra? Polar bears? Really? Yes, really. Every year from July to November, polar bears come here to eat and wait for the water to freeze so that they can go out onto the ice and hunt for seals. Are you ready for a ride in a tundra buggy to go look for polar bears? Of course I am. Um, what's a tundra buggy? A tundra buggy can drive over the uneven surface of the tundra with its big tires. Tundra is found up at the Arctic and is rough land that has no trees. It's covered with snow in the winter, but blooms with beautiful flowers in the summer. Well, I for one am glad we're here in the summer. Flowers and polar bears, all aboard. Ooh, this is a bumpy ride. Hang on tight, Gracie. Over there, I see polar bears. They look like they're really enjoying their lunch of plants. Hi, bears. That was exciting. Before we head back into Churchill, Let's take a break on the beach and look for beluga whales. A beach at the Arctic? Ooh, the water is really cold. I see some beluga whales playing in the water. They're so cute. Hi, whales. I think that one's waving its flipper back at me. I'm sure that he is. Jasmine, as we head back into town, be on the lookout for more polar bears. They can be dangerous wild animals. While most of the polar bears move on in the winter, some like to stay, and if they do, they get caught and sent to polar bear jail. Oh no! A jail for polar bears? I see it! Too bad we can't visit them. But luckily for the polar bears, they don't stay in jail forever. When it gets cold, the bears are taken to the Arctic. Churchill is another great place to see the northern lights. I just love seeing those beautiful colors in the night sky. I enjoy the lights also. Time to head back to our camper in Winnipeg so that we can journey on. Gracie, we're back at our camper and ready to head off to Saskatchewan, the second of the prairie provinces. The capital city is Regina. 
In Saskatchewan, there are big fields of wheat and valuable minerals like potash and uranium. Potash is used for fertilizer, and uranium is a silvery metal that can be used for nuclear fuel. The name Saskatchewan comes from its most important river and is a First Nations Cree word meaning fast-flowing river. Where can we find Saskatchewan? Join me at the map and we'll find out. Here it is. Saskatchewan is between Manitoba on the east and Alberta on the west. To the north are the Northwest Territories, and to the south are Montana and North Dakota. It will be super easy to drive there because there are 160,000 miles of roads in Saskatchewan. That's enough to circle the equator four times. You will also be happy to know that Saskatchewan is the sunniest place in Canada, and the town of Estevan is the sunniest place of all. Gracie, where are we? I thought we were exploring the prairie, and it looks like the Sahara Desert with all this sand. We're here at Great Hills Sand Dunes. These sand dunes are active, meaning they move and change. So every time you visit, they'll look a little different. The dunes were formed nearly 12,000 years ago, during our last ice age. When the ice melted, the lakes and the sand were left behind. Super cool! Look at the people jumping off the sand dunes! Oh no! That boy missed and is somersaulting down the hill. He is laughing, so he had fun. I think I'll pass. I don't want to get any sand in my beautiful fur. How about we go on a bone hunt instead? I've never done that before, so let's go. Ooh, I see some. They're so white and tiny. What animal do they come from? The bones come from the kangaroo rats that live here. Finding them was fun, so let's leave them here for others to find. Can you spot any animals? I see deer, coyotes, and cows. Yes, Jasmine, those are cows. The prairie around the sand hills is used for ranching. Another famous dune area is the Athabasca sand dunes. It would be very hard to get to those dunes because they're much farther north, and the only way to get there is by float plane or boat. I'm so glad we got to explore the sand dunes. But Gracie, now it's time to head for Alberta, the third prairie province in western Canada. It's a very flat land with grasslands in the south and forests in the north. Alberta was named after a princess, Louise Carolina Alberta, who was the daughter of Queen Victoria of England. Maybe someone will name a place after me, too. Where is Alberta? Step right up to the map, Jazzy. Alberta has British Columbia on the west, Saskatchewan on the east, the Northwest Territories on the north, and Montana to the south. We must go to the capital, Edmonton. They have the second largest mall in the world, the West Edmonton Mall. It has an enormous amusement park with a triple loop roller coaster, huge water park, ice skating palace, IMAX theater, mini golf, go karting, restaurants, and of course, shopping. Please, Gracie. Jasmine, we already went to the Mall of America in Minnesota. I think we should go somewhere else. Okay, okay. How about dinosaurs, then? We're here at Drumheller, the dinosaur capital of the world. Inside the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology, we can see the Royal Tyrell Museum Notosaur. Gracie, this dinosaur mummy is 110 million years old and belongs to the Ankylosaur family. It is the best preserved dinosaur fossil ever found. As you know, seeing fossils like this gives me the shivers. Why don't we explore the town of Drumheller? The streets are named after dinosaurs, and there are dinosaur statues everywhere. I see a sign for Tyrannosaurus Drive. The sign has a dinosaur on it. And look at that T-Rex statue. It's four and a half times bigger than a real one. Take my picture. I'm sitting in its mouth. I got it. Good thing it's not a real dinosaur, or you would be lunch. Now it's time to see if we can find our own fossils in Dinosaur Provincial Park here in the Badlands. The land here is so rocky, it looks like we're on the moon. Remember what those tall, thin rock towers are called? I sure do, Gracie. Hoodoos! And the fossil safari is so much fun! So far, I have found an itty-bitty prehistoric crocodile tooth and a giant leg bone of a duck-billed dinosaur. Yes, it was fun. Are you enjoying our last stop at the Jurassic Forest near Edmonton? I am, but it's a little scary. We're walking through a forest with dinosaurs. I know the dinosaurs are big and scary looking, 
but they're only models. Now we know what it would have felt like to live with the dinosaurs. It was so much fun exploring Manitoba, Saskatchewan, and Alberta. Let's do dinosaur jokes. I've got one. What do you call a T-Rex who hates losing? Hmm, how about a sore loser? You got it, Gracie. Go ahead, try to stump me. I'll try. How do you invite a dinosaur to a cafe? I can't think of the answer. I think you got me today. You better tell me. T-Rex? Oh, that was super funny. My favorite place was Churchill in Manitoba and seeing the polar bears. How about you? My favorite place was the Great Hill Sand Dunes in Saskatchewan. How about you, friends? What was your favorite place? Don't forget to tell someone you love all about it. That's right. Come back next week for British Columbia. Bye now. Say goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, my dear friends. See you next time. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining Jasmine and Gracie on their adventure today. Come back next week for the next one. Hello, everybody. It's Gwen here. If you want to know more about the places we visited, just go to our website, jasmineandgracie.podbean.com, and go to the sources page, and you can find out all about the great places that we visited. See you next week. Bye-bye.